Thank you, Mark. Tonight in Medical Rounds, it is National Sleep Awareness Week, and it's all about raising the issues concerned with sleep and asking yourself, are you getting enough of it? Joining us live is Dr. Sean Jeffrey, a doctor of pharmacy at Hartford HealthCare, to tell us how we can get a good night's sleep. And we thank you for joining us tonight, Dr. Jeffrey. Thank you. Well, we understand there are some new sleep recommendations just released by the National Sleep Foundation, which are pretty age specific. But can you give us an outline of what is recommended amount of sleep for most sure. age groups? And the good news is that I can keep it pretty simple. Great. For most adults, you still need eight hours of sleep. And if you're a little younger, you could stand to have a little bit more. What about those people, Dr. Jeffrey, who say, oh, I can get by with six hours, I, I'm, five hours, that's all I need. Are there people who can simply function well with a few hours of sleep? They're probably TV broadcasters, but for the vast majority <laughs> uh -uh. of the civilization, no. <laughs> Most people need between seven and nine hours of sleep. How did you know? All right, what about those who rely on sleep medications to get a good night's sleep? We see so many commercials for them. Are they really safe? Are they a safe alternative to sleeping pills? You know, I think it's important that before anybody takes anything for sleep, they really think about the risk and the benefit. And we've been learning a lot more about the risks with sleeping pills. In particular, they're known to cause falls, they can cause confusion, daytime sleepiness, and in some cases, sleepwalking or sleep eating. So it's really important before you take any medication, even the over-the-counter medications, and I hope, hope people are paying attention because things like Tylenol PM, they can be just as dangerous dangerous as prescription medications. So take a hard look at what you do that might be keeping you from falling asleep, like reading your email before you go to bed. Ah, that's, that's a good one. Guilty right here. All right, what about the Choosing Wisely campaign, which is to inform patients and providers about making the right choices when it comes to sleep medication? Sure, and Choosing Wisely is all about helping you to be as informed as possible. You may be surprised to know that on average, sleeping pills may give you 8 to 20 minutes earlier sleep onset and may keep you asleep for another 35 minutes longer, which really doesn't seem like that much. So choosing wisely is trying to point that out and suggest that perhaps there's other non-medication things that you could do that would help you in the long run. Because a bad night's sleep, you know, taking medications for the long run is generally not the right answer. Okay, great advice. And I didn't realize that's all you get from a sleeping pill, a little bit falling asleep a little earlier and sleeping a little bit longer. That's it. A lot to think about. We thank you so much, Dr. Jeffrey, for this very helpful information. Now, if you'd like to learn more, you can always call this number, 1-855-HHC-H-E-R-E. -E. In the meantime,